Mm. Uh, hi, my country viewers. Uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, explain you about alphabet numeric trick concepts, which is very useful in terms of uh, banking exams, LIC exams, and all uh, major competitive exams. So, uh, there will be a definite problem using the alphabets how to remember the numbers for each and every alphabet so uh, we all know the basic uh, number system for the alphabets and uh, we all know that uh, the English alphabets consist of uh, from A to Z it is 26 letters okay and we all know that uh, from for A it is 1 B it is C oh, I'm sorry B it is 2 sorry for that C it is 3 D it is 4 and uh, the last digits that is Z it is 26 last alphabet Y it is 25 X Y Z X should be 24 okay so this is all these are basic that we can easily remember in terms of examination and uh, it is very common so I am going to explain you a formula okay uh, you can whenever you get a problem in alphabet numeric trick if in case you have you are following a different system it's fine but it is a trick which is used to remember to uh, in terms if you if in case you forget the alphabets number okay so it is E J O T E G A J O T Y. Okay, this is the formula. Okay, so you can easily remember the alphabet E contains number five. It stands five. J stands ten. O stands fifteen. T stands twenty. Y stands twenty-five. So it is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So E J O T. Okay. Whenever you get the sum, uh, you get a problem of alphabet numeric uh, coding or decoding. You can just write this formula E J O T on top. Okay. And uh, now I will tell you how to remember all the other alphabets except A B C D X Y Z. Okay. So E we know now it is five. Okay. So we can leave E. So E after E. Okay, let me write down the alphabets. E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Okay. So let me uh, take you to the uh, F alphabet. Okay. So F is here. Okay. If in case you forget the number, the alphabetic number. Okay. Uh, just make this into your mind. Okay. This is a small trick. Okay. Whoever is following, you can follow this. Or if you are following a different concept, you can also follow that. Okay. Just uh, on the top of the F, just uh, do a curve. Okay. Just connect those ends so you get like a P if you invert the P you will get 6 you get what I mean it is 6 so the alphabet F it it is original so you do a curve and make it as P so if you invert the P it is 6 so you can easily remember it the next alphabet is G okay so G we have a tail over here okay just add a middle line to this tail so it is it becomes 7 so you can remember it is 7 and H you can just add a curve on top and a bottom so it looks like 8 you remember add a curve on top and the bottom so it looks like the 8 so it is 8 and uh, GH I just I you can just add a curve over here okay so it looks like 9 
and j already we know it is 10 e j o t formula on the top we have uh, j s 10 okay so it is marked as 10 now k how to write k okay just remember whenever you get k you can split k as two lines one uh, k is split like this so it looks like a, a little 11 structure so you can write it as 11 and after 11 it is l so l you can just add a circle to it so it looks like a 2 remember add a circle to l so it looks like 2 so after 11 it is 12 so remember that here we have 2 2 so add it uh, remember that it is a 12 okay you can make it a note now we have m here just sweep uh, just shift this m just rotate it to 90 degrees so it looks like 3 correct m can be shifted towards uh, i mean 90 degree and it looks like 3 so after 12 it is 13 so add 1 here so you can easily make a note of it it is 13 now we have n here okay n just make a note of it just to add a line here okay and a line here so it looks like a 4 4 and we have another 1 number 1 here so it is a reverse order or uh, 14 is like uh, it is reversed so it is number 14 okay remember and o we have already it is noted down in EJOT formula so o is 15 okay and p we have p here p again p already it is like uh, looking like a inverted 6 form okay so we can make it as 6 so already 15 is here add 1 here so it looks like 16 that you get the alphabet the number for p it is 16 now q is here q we have a line here just make sure that you just extend this line here like this and add a middle line so it looks like 7 and it can be 7 and add 1 here so it's 17 okay and we have r here so r is already we have a circle on top so just add a bottom curve here so it looks like a little 18 okay you get what i mean it looks like a little 18 so you can make it as 18 okay 8 can um, i mean we have a 1 here so we can add it and uh, we have the s here so s again it could be like you can just close this circle so it looks like a little 9 okay so it is 19 and we have t here so t is already it's in e jyoti formula t is 20 okay so 20 can be marked down and u and v okay they really don't have any trick so you have to remember u and v so u is 21 v is 22 okay make sure you have to you can add it here also u is 21 v is 22 they don't have any trick okay and w again so w can be inverted or shifted so it will look like a 3 so already we have 22 so after 22 it is 23 make sure that you remember this and we have x here and x we can just add a dash or a line here so it looks like a 4 okay it looks like a 4 so remember that you add 2 to it and 24 is the x and i as i said before you know even if you are familiar with the x y z and i'm, I'm sure that uh, most of them know is that the last alphabet 26 y is 25 and x is 24 you, you, you mean you need not uh, work on it if in case you are very well versed in the remembering of all this alphabet in case you don't have any idea or at that point of uh, completing exam you are struggling a lot to or you fail to remember so you can use this trick okay for all these alphabets okay so you, if you uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, I have another trick also uh, let me explain you in another class and all the best for your exams thank you so much my country